The road we're on is paved in Garth. Come along on the journey. As we explore Garthology. Think of it more as a conversation. I like that. So if this is truly a conversation, then I say let the conversation begin. Hey everyone, it's Deb. Welcome to another episode of Garthology. I'm alone today to pay tribute to a woman that is very important to Garth Brooks. Today, I'll provide a short biography about Garth's mom, Colleen Brooks. Colleen Carol McElroy Brooks was born July 10, 1929, in Missouri, as the daughter of William Andrew McElroy and Nell Elizabeth McElroy. Colleen married James Smittle on November 28, 1946. Colleen and James had three kids, Jim, Jerry, and Betsy. However, their marriage didn't last. After the divorce and before ever giving birth to the country icon Garth Brooks, Garth's mother made quite a name for herself in the country music genre under the name Colleen Carroll. She was a featured singer on Red Foley's Ozark Jubilee. The Ozark Jubilee was a 1950s network television program in the United States that featured country music's top stars of the day. The weekly live stage show out of Springfield, Missouri, premiered on ABC TV on January 22, 1955. It was renamed Country Music Jubilee on July 6, 1957, and was finally named Jubilee USA on August 2, 1958. Originating from the heart of the Ozarks, the Saturday Night Variety Series helped popularize country music in America's cities and suburbs, drawing more than 9 million viewers, which really was a lot for that time. As a singer, Colleen traveled throughout the United States and built quite a name and a following for herself. She even performed with Patsy Cline at the Louisiana Hayride, which was another country music show broadcast on television. With such a beautiful voice, Colleen captured the attention of Capitol Records, where she recorded four singles in the mid-1950s. Following in his mama's footsteps, Capitol Records would eventually be the company that Garth recorded his first 11 albums with. Had anything gone just a little bit differently, it is possible that Colleen Carroll would have been a national star just like her son. I mean, look at it this way. She had a manager, she recorded in Los Angeles, and was relatively well-known in the country music community. Let's listen to a little snippet of Colleen Carroll. Pray that the night will never end. Darling, forgive my faults. Eyes are bluer, hearts are truer, troubles fewer, dear. Dancing. But being a single mother and traveling for her singing career must have been really difficult on Colleen. But that limelight did put her in front of many people, including a man she met named Raymond Brooks. As a matter of fact, I believe I even read somewhere that when Colleen first met Raymond Brooks, Raymond confessed that he'd been smitten with her from the first time he saw her on television. Colleen and Troyal Raymond Brooks eventually married on January 27, 1957, and although Colleen loved music, she loved family life even more. When they met, as I mentioned, Colleen Carroll had three children from her previous marriage, Jim, Jerry, and Betsy and Raymond Brooks had a son, Michael, from his previous marriage. Colleen and Raymond then had two children together, Garth's brother Kelly and Garth himself, the sixth and final child in the combined family. From everything I've read, it sounds like Garth's family never saw bloodlines. They were just one big happy family. 
Colleen is quoted as saying to In Country, there was never any type of jealousy in this family. You couldn't really tell who belonged to who bloodwise as the years went by. Everyone thought Betsy looked like Raymond. For a long time, people thought Michael was my son and Jerry was Raymond's. When you're trying to raise a family like ours, that's the kind of thing you want to hear. Except for scattered performances, Colleen gave up her music career to raise the family. And then in 1994, Colleen recorded a duet with her daughter, Betsy Smittle, Garth's half-sister. The duet called This House was included on Betsy's first and only album called Rough Around the Edges, which was released in Europe in 1994. Of her youngest son, Garth, his number one fan, Colleen, was quoted as saying that Garth was a perfect child and she understands easily why he's so popular. She said, he's religious, polite, educated. The kid doesn't smoke, doesn't drink. The only vice he has is grease because he loves to eat. I read in another article that Colleen watched over her kids closely. She's quoted as saying, It's well known in Yukon that she's a protective mother. That's probably why when a national tabloid did a story Colleen wouldn't have approved of, the local grocery store personnel hid all the copies when they saw her coming. Sadly, Colleen passed away at the age of 70 at Deaconess Hospital in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, on August 6, 1999, of throat cancer. To this day, Garth often mentions his mom, whose nickname for Garth was Bear. And Garth has remarked that he is unapologetically a mama's boy. In fact, he even named his youngest daughter, Allie Colleen, in tribute to his mom. Speaking of Allie, Garth got a tattoo to fulfill a deal with his youngest daughter and incorporated his mom into the tattoo. As I discussed in our Season 4, Episode 5 podcast, Garth discussed the inspiration for his tattoo during an Inside Studio G Facebook Live video in 2023, and Garth revealed that the tattoo is a tribute to the most important women in his life, including his mom. The design is all ivy, Garth said. My mom was a green thumb. My oldest daughter's a green thumb. The ivy tattoo snakes from the left side of his chest, back, and down his left arm. Garth is quoted as saying, It's all about them. It's front and left chest, it's front and left back, and it's a full sleeve. I have five women in my life, my mom, Miss Yearwood, and my three daughters, and it's all about them. It's all about them being on my shoulders and around my heart and by my side. I know my three daughters have my back and are by my side till I'm in the grave, he added. But something about having them inked on your skin right here, by your side, the rest of your life, is pretty freaking cool. So my mother is on my shoulder and Miss Yearwood is right here on my heart. It sounds like it's a really special tribute to some very special women, especially his mom, Colleen Carol Brooks. For myself, Jess, and Pete, I just want to send up a thank you to Miss Colleen for sharing the gift of your amazing son, Garth, with all of us. All of us are sending love to all of those who knew Colleen. That's all for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed learning a little something about this amazing woman. Have you checked out our website at Garthology.com yet? If not, stop by today check out past episodes and bonus content. And don't forget to subscribe to our podcast on any podcast platform. If you get the chance, whatever you listen on, please leave us a review and write up something to encourage others to listen. And then don't forget to stop by our social media accounts to let us know what you think of how we're doing. On Facebook, we can be found at facebook.com slash GarthologyCast, and on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and Threads, we are also at GarthologyCast. I'm Deb, and thanks again for joining us. And don't forget, love will always win. Bye!